And so, Omega's here. Omega! Yay! And, and guess who? <laughs> guess who, people? Guess who? And welcome to to our LP of Omega's Wii Menu. <laughs> no, wait, okay. There, There's there, a hand that's going to poke your eye out. And we're done already. Da 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 Oh wow, this is awkward. Try Hit to... the minus button. <laughs> That'd be too easy. But no, we're not we're not playing my Wii menu. We're, we're playing, playing his GameCube is hooked up to his Wii. It's not hooked up to my Wii. I Get the Wii right down. It is built in backwards compatibility, man. What I so wonder mean? what we're going to play. I wonder <laughs> what we're going to play. I there's wonder. only there's only two choices right now. I wonder what. It's not like they can't read the title of the video. Darn. <laughs> Ding, dong, this is very loud. Pokemon Color Museums. Good thing it just it can read. New game. Yay! Woohoo! So uh, we've decided that we're going to name our protagonist. The wonderful name. If we can. Hmm. Who's going to know what we're naming him? Protagonist. <laughs> Protagonist. It should have been Protag. <gasps> no, I, I like this better. Protagonist. <laughs> a poorly, oh, no, a Protext. poorly abbreviated version of Protagonist. Okay, good. It's recording. Making sure. Yeah. Suck to redo this. Oh. I don't like the sound of that music. It sounds all evil. Oh, it looks awesomeness! He uh, looks angry! Seymour from Final Fantasy X called. He wants his hair back. <laughs> and he said you better not have dyed it some stupid color like brown, black, red, or yellow. Exactly. <laughs> hey, look, it's Umbre on the best dark type Pokemon on Earth. Except not. Oh, darn, we're being chased by people who are very slow. And look at Espeon, the best psychic type Pokemon on Earth. And a giant motorcycle? That's very loud. I hope it doesn't pick that up. It won't. And BAM! Nothing. Take that, society! That's what you get for being conformists! Grrr! <laughs> Look at my manly scarred chest. And that is the awesomest scene you'll ever see in this game right there. Exactly. And now watch as it gets more and more boring. But sadly, we apparently need some gas, so we're going to stop at a gas station. Do the wiggle wiggle. Mm. Look at that Japanese sign. Fuwa! We sure picked out, eh? I love chowing down after a job. It adds to the flavor, dude, I swear. Hey, the other guy. <laughs> yeah. And we bagged ourselves a great big catch, too. <gasps> Why, do you <laughs> Also, make sure to fix this up good with big rewards too. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this. Now you have to be Waluigi. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Great. You're welcome. Why do you get it? Why don't Why don't I ever get to drive the truck? <laughs> because you suck. I thought you had a motorcycle. Let's look around. Why is this? We have a gear. Um, a barrel. A worn gear is on the floor. It appears to be junk. How could you tell? A sign that was not translated. We have a crate. And another barrel. Another barrel. And another crate. And, oh, and apparently I left. Which, I can't go anywhere else, so. <laughs> I was magically teleported back. About 20 feet in the opposite direction. Go up the wheelchair ramp. You will learn to hate this music. Authorities have made a stunning announcement on the mysterious building exploded in Echo Canyon. It was Team Snagum's you, you hideout. You gotta do a better job than that, ladies. Team Snagum's a gang of Pokemon abductors who have been already been marked for arrest. Well, I was gonna do that for the sidekick, but okay. You do your rears for the sidekick. The hideout was discovered only as a result of the explosion. By the time the police arrived, the ruined building had already been abandoned. Because the explosion is under investigation, it should be apparent eventually. Yay! Explosions! More news at 11. So you come in here just to talk to this guy. Eh. Oh, or I could fail at talking. You're a Pokemon trainer too, ain't you? Yeah, I can tell. And you're good. I can see it in your eyes. 
and in my rock hard erection. <laughs> I bet your Pokemon's impressive too. The opportunity ever rises, I'd like to have a battle with you. In your end right there. <laughs> yeah, though I doubt I'd have any chance of beating you. Mega uh, in your endo. Why is there a giant gear? I never noticed there's a giant gear in the back. I did, but I never understood why. I, I bet that makes customers very uncomfortable. Just saying, man. So that's actually all we need to do here. We could have talked to those people, but I mean, yo, wait, wait up. Bonk. Hey, my name is Willie. After I got a good look at you, well, I got this urge to bow to you. It's like I'm compelled to. Um. It's, it's like my pink hair is trying to tell me a message. Anyway, I look at it, it's obvious you're no ordinary Joe. So what do you say? Let's you and me have a quick battle. Oh, no! What are you saying? You're joshing, right? So what do you say? Darn. Yeah, that's the spirit. All right, all right, over here, this way. We're just going to battle in front of nobody. Even though they could look out the window and see us. Yeehaw! I'm burning now. I'm on fire. It's full throttle time. Vroom, vroom. Let's roll. Okay, you're weird. In your endo. <laughs> that was not an in your endo. Ryder really would like to battle. Now I have to do it with the Pokemon announcer. <laughs> oh, a Zigzagoon, and who else could it be? Another Zigzagoon! Surely our, fo our foe is formidable. Oh, the challenger is sending out an Umbreon and Espeon. I wonder who shall win this. And I was especially looking at the levels, oh, I wonder. So uh, the good thing about this game is you start out with an Umbreon and an Espeon, which is pretty fly. They work together very well. They do. Especially if you're one of those that likes a supporter there, you can use your uh, your Espeon's helping hand to increase uh, your Umbreon's power. Because usually he's not so strong on his own, but if you train yeah. him just right, he will be. Uh, Espeon has a tendency to kill things in a few hits, and Espeon... Nah. Oh, I got that wrong. Espeon can usually kill things in a hit or two, and Umbreon takes a couple. Well, and this is later, you know. This is the first fight, you know. You have to be a retard to lose this fight. Yeah, and you do have to remember that Espeon is much faster and has a higher special attack, which is basically all you get on your Espeon here. Your Umbreon has to fight its way. Um, Umbreon is usually a better supporter, but if you're like me, you can train it to become an attacker. If anyone ever yeah. goes to that website, pokefreak437.webs.com, you would know, as I'm the second member of the Elite Four, Dark-type trainer. Yes. Are you, are you going to... Are you Yay! Going darkness! Are you going to link this to them when I upload it? Probably. Okay. All right. If, well. you, if you don't mind. Player defeated right or willy. I don't, I don't, of course I don't care. It's publicity. <laughs> Wiped out. Still needs seasoning. I'm not tasty enough. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but yeah, you're tough. Real tough. You did a real number on us. There's only one person here. Hey, I know. I want to touch your skills in Phoenix City. It's out west of here. The Go us included trainers. his Pokemon, you dork. They, they I mean, suck. The Zigzagoons. Who trains Zigzagoons? Honestly. Who gets a level 24 Zigzagoon? Especially two. It doesn't evolve till like, later. Who like, uses 30 it? or so. Who uses it? I ask. I, I need to make sure of that before we upload this, because I don't want someone to, like, flame us and say, Hey, it evolves at, like, level 20 or something, and me be wrong and look like an idiot, because I'm supposed to know more about Pokemon than you. Because I am a Pokemon noob. So we're going to Phoenix. A no, you're not. You used to beat the crap A gorgeous of jewel of a town that overflows with water and a forbidding desert. Dessert. And Desserts. a forbidding dessert. And a forbidding dessert. <laughs> a forbidding ice cream sundae. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, I do know how to pronounce that word. Booyah. What? Dessert? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Alrighty. Ooh, PC. I want to go in there and get me a new PC. Oh, darn. Remember, oh, you're yeah, yellow-haired, man. Okay. You gotta figure out who's who, though. I'll have to fight me. That's you. Hey, what are you doing? Get a grip, man. Yeah, you say that, but this... It won't stop squirming. It makes it tough to hold on. <laughs> it's funny, because we know what's in there. <laughs> yes, we do. Okay, okay. Settle down in there. Just be quiet for a little while longer. <laughs> no, help! Someone let me out! Kidnappers! Shh. That ain't in Keeper Yap Shop. Hey, quit your shouting. I only had one line. Oh, Drat, did that punk there hear all that? Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> that had to hurt. Since you all heard us, we don't have any choice. Blame it on your bad luck. I uh, half sound Chinese. <laughs> Chinese, it's Waluigi. Shady guy Folly would like to battle. Oh, and his team consists of 
Two whispers. How will you ever win this? A male and a female. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Someone is doing some breeding. We have both males. It's a sausage fest. Let's kill the girl first. We'll be sexist. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Death to women. Boo! <laughs> women Pokemans don't belong in this world. Yes, because back in red, yellow, and blue, they were all males. Actually, they were all genderless. They were all males. They were all genderless. They were males. They just put the gen. They didn't put the genders there because they made us assume they were male. They even had male mothers. The Kangaskhan in there was male. The Chansey was male. The Jinxes in there were male. That is disturbing. <laughs> They're cross dressers. <laughs> All right, well, we're pretty much on the end of one video here, so I guess we just stop saying anything relevant, and we'll see you next time. Aww. But I'm not going to stop.